What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, today I'm fishing on a spot I've never fished before. Uh, so this will be the first video I make here. It's a nice little creek you can see behind me. Uh, took a little bit of a walk to get here, so I'm a little bit of sweaty already. But uh, yeah, I uh, brought two poles with me, a lighter setup, and then like my usual bait casting setup. Uh, I'm going to try everything I can to catch anything. There's no target species, just catch anything is my goal. And hopefully we will succeed today. So uh, thank you for joining me and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Oh, okay. Well, I found that one turtle shell over there was empty, but this this is an actual turtle right here, a live turtle, I believe. Are you alive, buddy? Yeah, he is. He's trapped in here. I don't know how he's going to get over here. How did you even get above the first one, buddy? Hey, buddy. How you doing? How are you? Let's see, which way did you want to go? <laughs> you were on you ooh, ooh, ooh. scratching me. <laughs> See, you were on this side, so I guess you want to be over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alright, that's my good deed for the day. Alright, first thing I'm going to start with. The number one lure of the past few weeks, the MVP, the inline spinner. In my last video, it got me that uh, pretty nice channel catfish. So we're gonna see if the inline spinner can get anything out of here. All right, I switched to a crankbait for a little while. No success, but I gotta do something first. And that thing, of course, is to protect myself against skin cancer. Hell yeah. Gobble that stuff on there. Don't forget the legs. Do not forget the legs. I think that's a raccoon right there. I mean, it might be a beaver, but... No, it didn't have the tail of a beaver. It had the tail of like a raccoon or a rat. Could have been a huge rat, who knows. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move to a different location because this one isn't working out quite well. Also, let's see here, did I mention? It is 1 p.m. and it is 88 degrees out, partially cloudy. Ooh, is this a fish? Oh, yep, I got a fish. It's not half bad, whatever it is. Oh, it's a bass. It's a pretty good bass. Ooh, good jump. Ooh. 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 That is... Oh, no, he came off. That was a good bass. That was probably 14 inches at least. Ah. Oh. I shouldn't have tightened up my drag too much, maybe. It was too loose at first, but oh well. Well, that's good. It was only my second cast at the spot, man. This water seems a lot clearer than at the other spot. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's try it again. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. Is this a chain pickle? Oh, I got him. 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 Oh! oh, boys. 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 Ow. You got me a little bit. Guys, first chain pickle of my life. Woo, boys. 
Oh, look at that. He ain't big, but he is my first. Where's my grippers? Grippers, grippers. Oh, yeah, he got me quite a bit. He got me good. I'll show you my thumb here in a second. Well, this thing is barely big enough to fit around your mouth, boy. Ah, damn it, 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 damn it. Ooh, boys, look at that. Nice. He ended up getting me a little good, and what happened is I went to grab him, and my uh, thumb actually went through his gill plate, ooh, through his gills, and then scraped against his teeth, so. Got a little bit of a battle wound for myself, but for the first, my first chain pickerel. Heck yeah, boys. All right, buddy, I'll get this out of you. It's in there pretty good, I can see, wow. Got you out, buddy. Look at you, get you in the sun, look at that. Look at him, you're beautiful. I'm gonna take a photo of you. Look at his teeth, can you see his teeth? Yeah, that's what got me. <laughs> I need to let this guy go. Ow, those are thorns. Get right down to the water to let him go. See if I can get him breathing again. He's been out for a little while. You got it, buddy. You're good. Slowly but surely, he's out. Oh, there he goes, he took off. Yeah, his teeth got me a little good. Woo, okay guys, awesome. So my very first chain pickerel out of this creek right here. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I've been after one for quite a while now, uh, and I wasn't even targeting them, but I ended up catching one. So there we go. That makes the day for me. Uh, I, I'm a little salty I missed that bass though, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, keep trying. Woo, heck yeah, man, I feel good, I feel good. All right, let's get back to fishing. Whew, remember guys, on hot days, hydrate. But try to do it slowly. Don't drink all of it too quickly because then you run out too quickly. I've learned that mistake plenty of times. <laughs> I got a fish. What is this? Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. Not a big one, but it's a bass. Stay on this time, stay on this time. Boat flip. Hey buddy, how you doing? Get you in my grippers, because I don't want to accidentally hook myself when I get that out of you. You choked it a little bit, buddy. You choked it a little bit. Got it out. Little dinky. He's fish number two, bass number one, multi-species day, heck yeah. Yeet. Good stuff, man. Inline spinners, once again, killing it for me today. Mm. Snag city, baby. Yep, snapped off. That's all right. Thank you to the inline spinner that just gave its life for me to catch my first chain pickerel, you will be missed. Ooh, fish, come on. Yes, fish. A little teeny bass. Heck yeah, boy. Oh, he's a chunky fella, look at him. Ooh, right in the gill plate, that's, he was not coming off. Got it out. Woo, he is not long, but he's pretty chubby. You see that belly on him? Chubby little fella, you deserve a photo. Woo, you made me happy little fella, cause uh, I was getting skunked for a while. Oh yeah, let's get a release on you fella. Nice, third fish of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I was getting worried because it's been a while since I caught anything. 
tried numerous lures, tried uh, numerous soft plastics, a few other things, but uh, finally settled on uh, one of my reliable baits, a uh, Mini Strike King spinnerbait. This thing has caught me quite a bit of fish. All right, y'all, we're gonna try one more spot. If we don't catch anything there, I think we're gonna call it for a day. It's getting uh, hot, hot, hot out here. So maybe one more fish and we'll call it quits. So let's get to it. Ooh, fish, 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 fish. All right, got ourselves a bluegill right here. Nice. Third species of the day and fourth fish. All right, multi-species day. Nice, on the inline spinner. Just a little red blade on it. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it. Woo! All right, I think that's gonna be it for me today. It is hot, hot, hot. I was uh, pretty successful today. Caught two pretty good bass. Well, two little dinks, but any bass is a good bass, if you ask me. Uh, and I caught my very first chain pickerel, which is awesome. I've been hunting one for a while now. So uh, it came when I wasn't even trying to catch one, of course. Uh, and one bluegill, too. So three species, four fish today. Uh, it's hot. I want to go home. I need more water and uh, I'm gonna rest up edit this video and hopefully it'll be out for you soon So as usual guys, thank you for watching. It means a lot to me uh, Hit that like and subscribe button all that good stuff that you already know how to do and peace out guys